In our current times, where progress is speeding up exponentially and life is becoming more and more complex, it's easy to become overwhelmed and look for some kind of simplicity. In this video you will learn a couple of techniques that you can use to simplify your life. Hey there, I'm Nick Redmark, your effectiveness coach. If you want to become more effective in life and appreciate a rational and intellectually honest approach to self-help, please subscribe to this channel. One of the things that make life more complex is the amount of stuff that we have. A cure for this is a movement called minimalism. Basically, give a hard look at everything you own and ask yourself, do I really need this? This can be a very emotional process, so the question you ask yourself is quite important. Marie Kondo, the author of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, would ask, does this item spark joy? I had a minimalistic phase in 2015 where I went through everything that I owned for weeks and weeks repeatedly until almost everything I owned could fit in one bag. Over time the process became addictive and so my question became more and more strict. The question I would ask myself was, if I didn't have this item, would I go and buy it within the next year? But one needs to be careful. Minimalism is not just about emptying your life, it's about making space mentally and physically for the things that are really important for you. For me, it literally created the space for my girlfriend to move in to my 12 square meter room where I was living as a student. That was the beginning of our life together. Meanwhile, we live in a bigger apartment and we have many more things. Arguably, some of it is too much. But almost everything I see fits my values and priorities. So I can definitely recommend that you go through a minimalistic phase at least once in your life. The most obvious application of minimalism is with things in space. But something I've been asking myself recently is what about activities in time? There is something about time that's tricky because you cannot just empty your time. You have to fill your time somehow. So what is the question that you can ask yourself to simplify the way you spend your time? Here is a proposal, something that I've been thinking about recently. Ultimately, there are two main areas in life, what I call the foundation and what I call the mission. The foundation is everything you have to do on a regular basis to maintain and strengthen yourself. It's what Steve Covey would call sharpening the saw. I'm talking about taking care of your body, your mind, your house and your relationships. I see the foundation as the backbone of life, as solidified experience. Because what I've noticed over time is that the foundation grows as I learn about the things that are really important for me and that really will stay part of my life in the long term. For example, only recently, working out five days a week has become a priority. Another thing that Jordan Peterson reminded me about is that you should read and write every day. And that's something that I'm going to build into my daily habits in the coming weeks. So what characterizes your foundation is routines and habits. Your mission, on the other hand, is your one thing. It's what you're trying to accomplish in life, the way you want to shape and transform the world. While the foundation is static and repetitive, the mission can be highly dynamic and variable. At times you have to learn and study. At times you have to orient yourself and choose a new direction. At times you just have to go and execute. I calculated how much time my foundation would take me ideally if I could maintain it perfectly. And it would take about two thirds of my time. This means that there is only one third left for my mission, about nine hours a day. Now, if then you have a job that is not really aligned with your mission, but that pays the bills, that then becomes part of the foundation. It becomes part of what you need to maintain yourself. And what you're left with is only about three hours a day that you can dedicate to your mission. Fill that remaining time with activities that are mindless and not oriented to anything that you value. And you won't have any time left to pursue any long time vision. So this is the question that you can ask yourself if you want to simplify your time. Does this activity contribute to my mission? Does it contribute to my foundation? If the answer is no to both, consider spending your time in a different way. If you want to evaluate for yourself what should be part of your foundation, take a moment and do the exercise in this video. This video was brought to you by my supporters over at Patreon. Is there anything you would like me to cover from creating better habits to making better decisions? Let me know in the comments.